Hello. Hello. Yes. Um, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Dad. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, wonderful. That's good. All right. Okay, so once again, Dad, good afternoon and welcome to Clap and Play. Uh, thank you. All right. and, so how are you, Dad? Um, I'm great. And what about you? I'm also doing great. Perfect. All is well. All is well at my end. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. So where are you from, Dad? Um, I am from Maharashtra, but my hometown is in Haryana. Okay. So basically, you people belong to Haryana. But as of now, you are at Maharashtra. Is it that way? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Wonderful. That's great. All right. Hmm. So who gave you this name, Dirt? And do you know the meaning of this name? Your name? Dirt? Um, okay. Go ahead. So what, so what you did? Please tell me what you did. So I basically just turned the volume up greatly and just reduced the volume from my actual headphone. So. Okay, all right. Okay. Hmm, okay. Hmm, so I, I asked you who gave you this name first. And do you know the um, meaning of your name? Uh, actually, I don't know who gave my name. Hmm. Not who I gave my know. name. Who gave me my name? Who gave me this name? Who gave me my name? But actually, uh, the name, the meaning of the name, like I even don't know what's the meaning of this name because I'm just basically, basically a person who does the thing without hmm. knowing much about myself. So, oh, all right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The only Great. thing I know is my hobbies, what I like to play, and that all. Not my the okay, meaning of you. name. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Okay, then I'll ask you, I'll ask you. So, Dirk, okay. please tell me something about yourself. Means about yourself means that try to tell me that in which class you are studying, the name of your school, right? What is your age? What is your age? Tell me something about your parents, what your father is doing, what your mother is doing, are they working, right? That way. Okay, and so... And what they uh, are doing. And, uh, yeah, do you have any brother or sister? And what are your hobbies? That's it. Please tell me. Is it okay? So, it's, yes, it's okay. So I study in Ryan International School, and I am currently in. Uh, what? What is the name of your school? What is the Ryan, name of your school? Ryan. Ryan International. Study? Ryan. Ryan. R Y A N. Ryan. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm hmm. So I study in Ryan International School and mm -hmm. I am currently in seventh grade. My age oh. is 12 and mm. my father, yes. And my father is an engineer. My mother is a housewife and mm -hmm. my hobbies are to play badminton, football, basketball. And mm -hmm. mostly I play football and my most creative hobbies on like um, drawing actually. Okay. So All usually right. I draw a lot. And mm -hmm. yes, they, these are my hobbies. Uh, my favorite subject are math, science, and English. Math, science, and English. Okay, great. All right. And what about your brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers? Yes. Uh, my, I have a sister named Nishi. And mm -hmm. yes, she is very very good. Oh, okay, cute. Please. Yes. Cute. That's cute. It. Okay, all right. So how old is your sister? What is her age? Her age is currently seven years. Seven years, all right. So in which class your sister is studying? What kid sister is studying? Yes, she's in third grade. Third class, okay. Yes. <clears throat> great. Hmm. So, uh, are you an engineer or a software engineer? Oh my god! All right. Okay. So why why you think that way that I am an engineer or a software engineer? What is that thing that lets you think this way? How come um, it came to your mind that I am an engineer or a software engineer? Um, I don't know. It just came into my mind. 
okay thoroughly it propped up in your mind right okay that way all right yes okay so i am not an engineer nor i am a software engineer my father was an engineer right okay and i'm basically i take sessions on clapping go as well as apart from taking sessions on clapping go i have my own small school of small kids school, school okay right yes so in our school we are having classes like nursery lkg and ukg is it okay uh, all right yes. and you are 12 you are 12 years of age and i am 45 years 45 oh right Hmm. So do you do you think I really look like forty-five, or I'm younger than? Um, 45? you look like thirty or thirty-five. Ah, all right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, sir. So yeah, another question. I'll ask. Right? Is it okay that I'm asking you questions? Okay. Is it okay? okay? All right. No problem. All right. Okay, but before that, please tell me. You know the topic for today. What's the topic for today? Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> no, I don't know. I just slept. I just woke up and just sat over here to talk. Oh, all right, great. So I, I was not okay, able sir. to read the session notes. No issue, no issue, no issue. By the way, I'll tell you the topic for today is spirituality. 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 Right. So I'll not ask you related to the topic because I think that yes, you are too small to you know say something related to this topic, right? So I'll ask you general question. You are only twelve years of age, right? So I don't think it's okay, right? I'll. Um, I even don't topic. know the meaning of spirituality. So I don't worry, don't worry. I have heard the word before, but I don't know the meaning actually. You are too small, right? So don't worry. I'll ask you general question. Is it okay? okay? Okay. Okay. All right. So, just please tell me who told you about this platform and why you want to improve your spoken English. You are studying in a very good international school that way, and you have that environment also around you since you are studying in that school. So, why you want to improve your spoken English and who told you about this platform? So, my mother told me about this platform, and I was like, basically, a oh. uh, intermediate. in english and i wanted to like make my english grow a lot and i want to to be a like a fluent english speaker because i had the dreams of going out on usa america so i just wanted to become that and no doubt on usa out on usa it is not correct i had the dream to go out of this, uh, our country india like america usa or whatever country you wish to go not mm-hmm. okay right? so um yes i just wanted to improve my english and mm-hmm. so i am now here talking to you i'm clapping oh, wonderful oh wonderful all right so your mother told you to join clapping you yes. suggested you right okay great so hats off to your mother okay all right there <clears throat> so another question how many sessions you have taken till date on second mm i think it is the seven um i just didn't count it i have to see like it it's 68 or 70 oh 68 or 70 sessions you had already taken oh my god oh my god okay all right okay so you are taking quite a good number of sessions that way wonderful that way and it shows your strength that you have that great zeal within yourself to improve your spoken wonderful that way god bless you all right sir so now you told me that you are taking almost 70 sessions right so did you notice any change in yourself yeah i was able to speak your... pretty fluently and uh, i had not like, i was i was sorry sorry i was able to to speak what you said i was able to speak pretty fluently although this sentence is almost correct right but it should not be this way that i was able to was means earlier you were able to but now you are not able to to speak fluently in english so what should you use i am able to i am able to speak 
so i am able to speak english fluently and before i use the word like as a disclaimer oh, like you know that hmm. um, i will describe the sentence with the word like which was wrong so a uh, tutor corrected me and now i am using like as less as possible so yeah so i have seen a pretty uh, i have seen many good be benefits in myself from like clapping go and it's good for that's it all right <clears throat> so can you tell me uh, if you remember what advice the earlier teachers or teachers gave you when you took sessions with them pick your sessions he, those pick hmm. so he told me to read and to like re like learn a bit of grammar like improve your grammar and right. yes that was it okay all right okay so can you tell me your daily routine um my daily routine just wake up eat breakfast go to swim and come back study and do classes and then sleep oh my god all right and then after and uh, uh, at 5 o'clock i usually go to play football and then i come back and then eat dinner and then drink milk and then sleep oh all right Oh, wonderful! That's it. Okay. So, are you not going to your school these days, really? No, actually, summer holidays are going on. Summer holidays. All right. Okay. But at my place, some schools are still open. Instead, oh, are still yes. Going to the school. Yes. So you, are uh, you are at you are at Pune as of now. No, no. I am in Maharashtra, so I am currently Pune near Mumbai. Maharashtra. Pune is in Maharashtra only, right? Pune is in Maharashtra. Oh. No, I am okay. near Mumbai actually. Near Mumbai, okay. All right. So at your place, summer vacations had already started. That's yes, it. and it will end in oh. like five June or something. Okay, on fifth of June, the summer vacation will end. All right. So you will start going to your school. All right. Okay. That's it. Hmm. At my place, school are still open and kids are still going to their school. And I believe till fifteenth of May they will still continue to go to. that's it oh so All the right. holidays will start from 15 may 15 or from 28th of may and yes their holidays will continue or their school will reopen in the month of july first week of july that's right oh so yes so there is a school here mm -hmm. i think it's kv kv kendra vidyalaya so mm -hmm. the school the summer holidays start from 5 may till mm -hmm. july 15 oh my god so it's a big months. gap like two months you have just full mm -hmm. right playing Enjoy. swimming Enjoy. yes Enjoy. wonderful all right So apart from playing football, uh, what other games you play along with your friends? Um, badminton. Okay, all right. Cricket and basketball. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. All right. So, <clears throat> so that now I'll try to tell you right. See, that's why after talking to you and after listening to you, means I observe that yes. you have that keen desire you have that positive attitude towards spoken english right so keep up that spirit and definitely you will improve further and in totality your communication skills are really good considering your age you are only 12 years of age right so that way your communication skills are really good but yes the scope of improvement is always there in your case also in my case also so you can also improve further as well as i can also improve further i am also learning Through clapping, go as well as you are also learning through clapping. Clapping. So what you should do, if possible, yes, you need to work on your grammar, right? Preposition tenses, right? And another thing is that, and you might be having that grammar book also. So try to solve the exercises related to these things from your grammar book. You are studying in seventh grade, 
right? And although you are trying to you know improve your spoken English, try to build this habit of reading something in English regularly. Read something in English regularly, so you can read any small or uh, small stories book, short stories book, or you can read newspaper also, or any English word book also. If possible, if possible, since you have this time, you are on your summer break, so try to read at least for half an hour per day in English and loudly, loudly. Try to read loudly. Your pronunciation is okay. No issues with your pronunciation, but try to read loudly at least for half an hour per day and daily. Is it okay? Okay. Hmm? Great. So these are the inputs from my side, right? Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. So if you have any query, still we have two minutes left with us. Do you have any query? Or um, I have to one or two more questions. No queries. No queries. But honestly, but honestly, telling you, uh, honestly speaking, thus I am enjoying this session with you. I really love this session with you. Right? Okay. God bless. So there's another yeah. question. Another question, Dar. Yeah. Yes. So. <clears throat> Who is your favorite cricketer and why? Favorite cricketer? Hmm. I don't have a favorite cricketer. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Being an Indian, you do not have any favorite cricketer. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. So tell me something about your childhood best friend. And why you consider that boy or girl as your best friend? Um, there's a thing that I don't have a best friend also. Oh my! I God. just have friends. What do you have? Because okay. I think that best friends are dangerous than friends. Because friends has a like connection. It's okay. It, let it be. Mm. And best friend are like, okay. come here, come here. And suddenly, if you just talk on something about that, mm. he will just be oh. like, no. <laughs> I don't oh, like that, right. so I just have friends, no best best friend or something. No best friend, okay. And how many friends do you have? Um, a lot. A lot, okay, great. Okay. So whenever okay. I go to play somewhere like football in my ground, um, all of all of the children playing there are my friends only. Mm hmm. Okay.